everybody, Zachary from Zachary Zoo Adventures. I'm in Manhattan, Kansas, and today I'm visiting the Sunset Zoo. This is a mid-sized, smaller size zoo, but it's somewhere in between there. This is more of a smaller zoo. I'm very excited to be here. I can see I have my hat on, my own Zachary Zoo Adventures hat. As I said before in my other videos, I love to wear this hat at all the places I go to. It protects my forehead from being burned from the sun. So I'm excited to be here. It is a very beautiful day. I'm going to go if I can see and find a map around here. And if not, I'm going to be showing you the paper map that was given to me at the entrance. So let's get started. Alright, so this is the map of the whole zoo. It's not a huge property, but still... Looks like a very nice zoo. So I'm right over here. So I'm going to start us with the green area to the African Trail. Then I'll take me over to the blue area called the Australian Walkabout. Alright, so over here are some arrows, which is some remnants from the pandemic. However, the zoo does not require one way pass, but still, I'm going to follow them anyway. Alright, we got black and white Calipus Monkey. This is the Calipus Monkey. There's two of them. And some nice fluffy tails. You got a really good view of both of them from over here. The Calipus monkeys do have a really nice habitat. Let's see the black and white Calipus monkeys indoor habitat. And it looks like they're all outside and so the door is closed. We got chimpanzee. And again, this is their indoor habitat. I'm assuming that they are probably outside because all the doors are closed. Right, so this is the chimps habitat. There's one of them right here with the blankets in its hands. There's one laying down up close to the glass here. Two more of them. There's one laying down right there. So it's very natural out here as the zoo is basically out in the woods so very nice and natural looking. We got Violet Turco, Green Arakari, and Kookaburra. I see the Kookaburra. It's right there. It just flew away. I see there's the Arakari right there on that tree branch there. I see the Violet Turkow right there. So all three of them are out. Alright, so it's an additional to the map. They also have signs pointing in different directions. So we just did the Africa Trail. And now we're going to head towards the left to the rest of African Trail. And keep on going. Alright, got Cheetah. Is this a Cheetah's Habitat? I'm trying to find the cheetahs, and I'm not really seeing them, but this is the upper view of their habitat, so hopefully I'll be able to see them when we get down. Alright, so I see the cheetah. He's right down there. You can see his spots right there. So hopefully when we get to the lower view, we'll be able to get a good view of it. Alright, so I see the cheetah. i got a good view of him right here. So the zoo just opened, so it's still a little early for some of the animals. So I'll try to come back here a little later to see if he's up and moving around. Okay, so this here's the lower view of the cheetah habitat. I actually did see him right over there, laying down. So I'll stop by here a little later to see if they're moving around. I got spotted hyena. Alright, so I see the hyenas. Two of them walking around. There's one right over here. Okay, the second one. Oh man, he's so cute. And this one over here, let's stick his tongue out. Go. 
does the other one. These guys have a really good sized habitat. Got lots of space for them. One of them just lie down now. These guys are really cute. Makes me miss my dogs at home. And got emu and western gray kangaroo. Yeah, so I see the gray kangaroo it's in the shade there, just laying down. I see the emu right there. The second one's right there. Alright, I'm gonna go into the aviary. I got drawn the ibis, silver gull, the gabura, and black swan. There's a strong neck ibis right there. I see the black swan swimming into water. There's a silver gull right there. Alright, so I'm not really seeing the kookaburra anywhere, so it's possible the kookaburra was moved to the habitat we saw the other bird species in the African Trail. Alright, so outside the aviary, I found the kookaburra. He's right there. It's the second one. Now we're gonna go into the Australian walkabout. Now we've got Bennett's wallaby and Parma wallaby. Alright, so over here is usually would be a walkabout where you'd usually get to walk through. Well, unfortunately, it's closed off. And right behind this fence here is the wallabies. Do you see a white one? I'm assuming that's an albino Bennett's wallaby. Oh, here comes the other one. Assuming the white one's the Bendis Wallaby and the one on the right is the Parma Wallaby. And I don't think I've ever seen the Albino Wallaby before. Alright, so this is the paper map that was given to me at the entrance. Let me show you the map so you can see where we're at. So I just completed this loop right here. The Africa Trail. So I'm right here by the Australian Walkabout. So I'm in the Head to the prairie dogs right here, then do the Asia Trail right here. Then I'll take you to this pink area called the Americas. We got black tailed prairie dog, ornate box turtle, and turkey vulture. That's right, so the prairie dog right there. I see the turkey vulture right there. Yes, I do see the box turtle. You see the ornate box turtles moving around right there. Yes, in addition to the map, they have signs pointing in different directions. So I'm gonna head towards the ride to Expedition Asia. All right, Expedition Asia. This is the newest area of the zoo that opened last year. All right, we got Malayan tiger. Let's see the tiger, he's walking around. The tiger does have lots of space for him. Yeah, I can tell this is all brand new that's just opened last year because you see they also have new pavement and they also have brand new walls and stuff. So this is all a brand new area. We got Sloth Bear. Alright, so there's a sign say that they are behind the scenes at the moment. And unfortunately it's off habitat. It does have a really nice habitat though. So this is what they look like. Unfortunately it's a no-go for today. So that is a bummer. So I'll stop by here a little later to see if it's out. 
Not sure if it's going to be off Habitat to dig or if it's going to be out later because the zoo just opened. There's another view of the tiger. He's up close to the glass here. It's a beautiful kitty cat. Kitty cat. That's oh, a beautiful kitty cat. You can actually hear him snarling. It's another size view of the sloth bear habitat. It's another additional view of the tiger habitat. Yes, the tiger does have a very good size habitat. There's lots of boardwalks and slight elevation changes. So there's multiple viewing areas of the habitats. Animals in our care. <laughs> the sloth bear also has a very nice habitat. And got Amara leopard. This is the Amara leopard's habitat. It's a really nice habitat. I am trying to find it. I'm just not really seeing it anywhere. So the door to his nighttime habitat is open and the zoo just opened. So it's still a little early for some of the animals. So I'll check back here a little later to see if he's out. There's some information about the Amara leopards. So the Amara leopards are the most endangered cats in the world. There's Anika. A new female leopard that moved in winter of 2022. This is the lower viewing of the Emerald Leopard, and I'm not seeing it anywhere at the moment, so I will check back here a little later to see if she's out. I right, got Asian small clot otter. I see them up close to the glass here. So very cute animals. Another view of the otter habitat. I do have lots of water for them to be in, a lot of dry lands for them to be on. Got a red panda. You see the red panda? He's chilling out in the tree. They said the sign said that these animals like to spend a lot of time in the trees. And usually, every time I go to a zoo, I see these guys up in the tree. That's a cute red panda. And so I see a second red panda. You can kind of see him resting on that branch there. It's kind of cute the way it breaks down the air. You got a really good view of the first red panda right here. You got a much closer view of the second red panda resting in the tree. I do apologize for the reflection, but you can still kind of see them. We <laughs> got white handed gibbon. See two of the female gibbons right here. And they're just fighting over this little basket here. These guys were just hooting and hollering earlier. I see the male right there. <laughs> Near his indoor habitat where it's cooler. Yeah, so the gibbons do also have a nice habitat. Have a lot of places for them to climb and swing around. Let's see the white handed gibbons indoor habitat. They also do have lots of places for them to swing around inside. And got maned wolf. And giant anteater. The anteater's walking around. Mm -hmm. Nice animal. Hey, buddy. I see the main wolves. Actually, two of them. There's a second main dwarf right there. 
Go over here from this side view of the white handed gibbons indoor habitat. And over here is the upper view of the white handed gibbons habitat. You can see the female swinging up to the top right there. Here's another side view of the sloth bear. So hopefully I'll be able to see him later when I come back here. Yeah, so the main wolf is walking around. And I guess the main wolf and the anteater get along very well with each other. Since they're in the same habitat. Here we got American Flamingo. Let's see the flamingos. See more of them there. And usually the American Flamingos have the most pink feathers and are the tallest kinds of flamingos. Here we got Chick and Peccary. Let's see the piggy piggies. It's a fuzzy piggy. The other two over here. See three of them. We got American White Pelican, Black Necked Swan, Canada Goose, and Crested Screamer. And the Black Necked Swan swimming in the water. The American white pelicans right here underneath the tree in the shade. And I do see the crested screamer. Also on the other side there, there's two of them. And the Canada geese are down there. Two of them. Oscar and Nora, and new ring-tailed lemurs. We got a ring-tailed lemur. That's the ring-tailed lemur's indoor habitat again. And the worker out there is cleaning the habitat, and she said they'll be out in just a couple of minutes. And so I decided to wait, and the ring-tailed lemurs are now out. Okay, I'm making a little noise here. Got a closer view of the Canada geese right here. Got a red for the tortoise. I see two of the tortoises. This one was just on top of the other one. Looks like it was trying to make. And got bobcat. Alright, so right over here is where the bobcats habitat used to be again. It looks like they've taken it down, so it looks like they're building up a new habitat for the bobcat. Because it looks like it had a small habitat. That must be where it is inside there. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show it to you. Because unfortunately, it's a no-go for today since they're doing some construction on the habitat. I'm not going to be able to show it to you. So that's what they look like. Alright, and here we got a closer view of the... Crested Screamers. So right up here is actually all the Americas there. And so far I've completed my initial walkthrough around the zoo. Not a huge zoo, but still it's very, very nice. So I'm going to try and do a rewalk around the zoo and perhaps get some better views of some of the animals. Or get a good chance of seeing the animals I missed the first time. And it looks like this area here needs a little bit of work done, but still looks very, very nice, especially how they're doing some construction on the bobcat habitat, but still I'm having a very good time here. As I came out to see the main wolves are moving around, and they're still laying down together, and it looks like they're in the same spot they were in before. Very cute. Alright, I came back to the sloth bear, and they're out now. Uh, very fussy bear. Very nice animal. Alright, 
So I came back to see if the Amura Leopard was out, and I still did not see her anywhere. So that is what they look like, because unfortunately it's a no-go for today. Oh, good view of the sloth bears. I see a second one. Second one's moving around. There's the first one right there. Sometimes it always pays to come back to an animal you didn't see the first time. Another side view of the sloth bear. Yeah, I get a really good view of the second one. It's a very fuzzy bear. And the other one just walked away. I think I'm back at the cheetah. It looks like he moved a little. Getting a much better view of him as I did from before. I don't have a really good view of the cheetah from up here. Having a cat nap. I got the Nature Exploration Center. We got African ball python. And the ball python's right there. The rest of his body right here. We got Indian star tortoise. And it's right there. We got ornate box turtle. Yes, I see the turtle. He's right there underneath the good old box there. Alright everybody, that is going to do it for my visit to the Sunset Zoo in Manhattan, Kansas. I had a fantastic time. The habitats were really beautifully. The layout of the zoo was really impressive, especially with the new Asian area, as I said, that just opened up last year, which is nice how the zoo has been doing some fundraising and how they're doing construction on the bobcat habitat in the Americas, and especially like how the lemurs that they have here, which are also new. So this is a very, very nice zoo. I enjoyed every minute of it. Leave some comments down below of what was your favorite animal that I saw. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I have new videos like this being posted every Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. If this is the kind of stuff you enjoy, then join my channel. I'm already around 200 subscribers at the time of this filming. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>